Okay, so now I will explain the, uh, the real meat of the lab here, uh, and that is the coefficient of discharge. Um, so you're going to be finding the coefficient of discharge for both the Venturi and the orifice flow meters. Um, that the coefficient of discharge is a ratio of actual and theoretical flow rates. Um, and it is inversely related to head loss. Head loss is an energy loss between two states. Um, so as you can see here, um, you have the Bernoulli equation. So effectively, uh, P1 over, over gamma, gamma is uh, rho times G. Rho is the density of water, uh, and G is your gravitational constant. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Um, so effectively, yeah, you have P1 over gamma plus V1 squared over 2G plus Z1 equals P2 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G plus Z2 plus a head loss term. So effectively, between those two states, um, what this modified Bernoulli equation states is that there will be some sort of head loss between those two points, so an energy loss between those two points. Um, so yeah, um, effectively, with this coefficient of discharge, you have a Q, th Q actual over Q theoretical. The actual flow rate is found um, from the experimental setup. Basically, there is a, a mass lever system, uh, and I'll get into how you, how you get the readings off of that. Uh, most likely, I'll give you guys uh, all the critical data you'll need for finding the mass flow rate uh, with some simple calculations. Um, so yeah, you get your actual flow rate from the mass system, and the theoretical flow rate is an idealized assumption uh, of flow rate uh, with no head loss. And this you get by uh, using the um, pressure difference between the two points at each state. So state one here is probed like say here, and state two is probed stay here. So you have a pressure associated with both of those states, and we're able to also read that with our experimental apparatus. I'll get into that later. Okay, so what you want to do um, is now try and figure out what this Q theoretical can be. Um, so basically, you have your Q theoretical, um, which you, you effectively have, you know, since you have two states, you could say Q theoretical is either V2 theoretical times A2 or V1 theoretical times A1. Okay, um, so we'll go ahead and we'll try and find uh, V2 theoretical times A2. Um, that's just the one they picked for the lab, so that's the one I'll uh, continue to do there, uh, to, to do here. Um, so effectively, um, since we know that we're not gonna be gaining height at all in this lab, it's all on one um, horizontal plane, uh, our Z1 is equal to Z2, and so they cancel out, okay? Um, and for this idealized assumption, we're also going to eliminate the head loss, okay? So our Bernoulli equation ends up being P1 over gamma, plus V1 squared over 2G equals P2 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G. All right, so pretty simple. It's an idealized assumption, no head loss, no height change, okay? Um, so now what we wanna do uh, is replace all the V1s in this equation here with V2s. Um, so we recall V1, A1 equals V2, A2, okay? Um, so effectively what we can do there is rearrange this equation, divide each side by A1, we get V1 by itself, all right? Um, so V1 equals V2 times A2 over A1. Um, area is pi times D squared over four, okay? So we expand that, so V2 times pi times D2 squared over four divided by the quantity of uh, pi times D1 squared over four. So your pi's and your four's will end up canceling out, and your v1 will end up equaling v2 times d2 squared over d1 squared, all right? So now what we can do is plug that back into our Bernoulli equation, our modified Bernoulli equation, okay? So we have p1 over gamma plus the quantity of b2 times d2 squared over d1 squared quantity squared, over 2G equals P2 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G. All right, so now um, uh, if I distribute this, uh, this exponent here, this exponent of two to the V2s and the D2s and D1s, you end up getting uh, the whole equation ends up looking like P1 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G times D2 to the fourth over D1 to the fourth. As you can see, when you distribute 
this square, uh, it goes inside the uh, parentheses with the diameter fraction. Um, so yeah, uh, and that is all equal to P2 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G. All right, um, so now what we're gonna do is uh, put our pressure terms on one side and our velocity terms on one side. So you end up getting V2 over 2G, um, sorry, V2 squared over 2G uh, times one minus D2 to the fourth over D1 to the fourth equals um, P1 minus P2 over rho times G. So now what we can do, uh, and that's because gamma equals rho times G, that's what I have written here, um, sort of underneath it. But effectively what that allows us to do is you could eliminate G in each case, okay? So continuing on, uh, you, um, you can multiply uh, each side by uh, two over the quantity of one minus d2 to the fourth over d1 to the fourth. So effectively, you just move this whole term uh, to the other side. So you end up getting v2 squared equals two times p1 minus p2 over rho times the quantity of one minus d2 to the fourth over d1 to the fourth. Okay, um, so, at event, so then what you do is you take the square root, um, you end up getting v2 equals square root of two times p1 minus p2 over the quantity of rho times the quantity of one minus the quantity of d2 to the fourth over d1 to the fourth. Okay, um, so uh, now that we have this v2, we're gonna call this actually v2 theoretical since this was our uh, theoretical for Newley. So q theoretical equals v2 theoretical times a2, like we said before. So now we were able to plug that into your CD um, so CD equals Q actual over Q theoretical, which equals Q actual over A2 times the square root of two times quantity of P1 minus P2 over the quantity of rho times the quantity of one minus the quantity of D2 to the fourth over D1 to the fourth. Um, that's a big mouthful, um, but hopefully now you will have a little bit more of an understanding of where we got the D1 from, or sorry, where we got the coefficient discharge from uh, not the most complicated thing in the world, but um, it isn't super straightforward. Uh, but yeah, um, effectively what we'll be doing is, like I said, uh, I'll give you the diameters of all the different sections. Um, you'll need it for D1 of the Venturi and D1 of the uh, orifice, as well as D2 of the Venturi and D2 of the orifice. Um, and then with that, we'll have the Q theoretical um, uh, with the, the pressure di differences, which, uh, which again, we will go over.